All right, brothers, this is Mel. How you doing? This is Brother Wisdom here. What you see here is um, a mathematical cosmic diagram. All right, when you deal with the cosmos, um, you're not dealing with numbers, these primitive numbers that we're dealing with one, two, three, four, and all the way up to zero, and 20 and 30. No, we, we, didn't deal with those types of um, numbers. See, the true cosmic mathematics is in symbols and frequencies. Right? Yata mo kierka mi kiesa ta na niki mo shata i. This is how we spoke. All right. But, okay. What I'm getting to is. These symbols, these are symbols, these are symbols, these are frequencies, right? These are cosmic numbers, all right? And I published this and send it on uh, through Facebook because it gets to our brothers and sisters who are on the sun, all right? And basically what happens is we give the, I give the, the amount of frequencies and vibrations for the sun to vibrate. So this was done somewhere in October of last year of start date 2017. This was done around October. And this was this is a diagram of this is actually a request or more so of a command um, to increase the vibrations and the frequencies of the sun. Alright? So Everything has to be done in cosmic order. Some things happen right away. Some things, um, it may take a little time for it to get in play. All right. But these are thoughts. Each frequency, each symbol is a thought. Okay. Each thought is a frequency and a vibration. So you send these thoughts up into the cosmos where our um, brothers and sisters are on the sun and you give them the instructions on what you need done okay so basically we send that information all right we send that information and basically they know this is how much uh, frequencies now these are very large frequencies and vibrations these are huge frequencies and vibrations okay if you look at the size of the frequencies and vibrations the size of the planet these frequencies and vibrations are much bigger than the planet and this is what our sun is kicking off right now okay so we send this information to the core all right which is the core which is the inner sun and we give the core the uh, this is sending the core this information on how to vibrate on what level to vibrate north south east west okay and each one of these symbols you see if you can see the symbol here each one of these symbols represent a vibrational frequency all right so these are this is four different vibrational frequencies that act together as one and the core will give off vibrations and the planet will give off vibrations all right so this is how this works right here. Um, these are symbols. These are numbers right here. All right, symbol numbers that tell that says, well, this is how much vibration should be coming from the planet out into the cosmos. Okay. Basically, right here. These are um, these are uh, like um, cosmic wavelengths it's more so what they are are cosmic wavelengths and these cosmic wavelengths as the planet gives off these uh, of vibrations these cosmic wavelengths are actually numbers all right they're actually a, a level of frequencies that return 
these frequencies and vibrations back to the planet, which will help the planet to increase the vibrations and frequencies. So the planet is giving off vibrations and frequencies to the sun. The sun is giving off vibrations and frequencies to the planet, as well as the sun is sending this out to the into the cosmos and the cosmos. All right, all along the wavelengths of the cosmos, they're sitting back. All right, now if you can see, these are all. We, this is how we spoke once before. This is how we wrote. We didn't write A, B, C, and through Z. We had all of our thoughts, all of our um, writings were symbols, and each symbol was a thought. Each thought was a frequency and a vibration. So basically what I do here is I put these thoughts, because, of, because we're in alignment with the cosmos, when you're in alignment with the cosmos, you put thoughts into these symbols. And these symbols represent frequencies and vibrations, and you send the instructions. Well, this is what we would like to be done, right? So, you know, I'm all about balance. So my thing was, it's time for a great shaking of the planet. Now, this was October of uh, 2017 when I did this. And basically, um, now everything is coming to Because like I say, a lot of times in the cosmos, things don't happen right away everything has to be in alignment with with uh, the, the wavelengths with vibrations frequencies everything has to be in alignment there has to be a planetary alignment also all the planets has to be in alignment because when all the planets are in alignment they send off the right amount of frequencies and vibrations to get everything started just like that okay so um these are all frequencies you see that right there looks like a cross that's a symbol of balance all right, this is a symbol of balance. This is all symbols of balance. All right, these are all symbols of balance, but they are different different ways of creating the balance. Balance from north to east, balance from northeast to southwest. So these are, these are these are all different uh, uh, symbols of of balance, as well as their numbers to give off. The amount of frequencies and vibrations. Okay, this, you know, like I said, this this is the math, all right? This is the mathematics of the cosmos. They don't deal with numbers. They deal with symbols. Once you understand these symbols, you understand yourself. When you know yourself, you'll know the symbols. Okay. Um, another one that was done. All right, this was around the same time in October. Sorry, I got some paint on this in my art studio also. Um, this was done around October or September of 2000, starting in 2017. Basically, this here is a, um, is a request or demand for um, certain places on the planet to activate certain areas of the planet all right when you know the planet you know just where to go so these are these are five areas of the planet that um, are heavy with crystallized energy okay so this here uh, it's this is the Sun anytime you see the dot is the Sun this is the Sun and and we call it for the Sun to send a special vibrational frequency, all right? The sun is in a special vibrational frequency. As you can see right there, it looks, like, looks almost like a cloud, cloud thing. You know, this is a special vibrational frequency that comes from the sun, all right? These are all symbols of, of vibrations, frequencies that need to be around the sun, okay? In order for the sun to be able to send this energy, to pinpoint this energy, to the to the uh, to the four four different areas of the, of the planet, okay. Now these here are this is the cosmos, all right. These are cosmic, these are cosmic uh, numbers right here or cosmic uh, symbols that uh, give that tells how much energy to put into the planet. And I always create the planet of north, south, east, west because of the polarity of the planet, all right. To show okay. In the south, we need this much energy, all right, because these symbols represent energy. Uh, frequencies and vibrations comes up to energy. And the, in, in the, um, that's this your south, uh, east, this is the energy here, southwest, 
This is the energy or the frequencies and vibrations that need to be given off around the planet. All right. These are the same way here. All right. So these are these are actually cosmic numbers um, that um, give off different levels of energies, different levels of vibrations. All right. And this is something that I did also. And like I said, things don't happen right away. But just recently, the sun did send off this energy to the planet and pinpointed these five areas of the planet where a special energy was sent. All right. Um, some of these areas are pyramids, right, where special energy was sent so that uh, uh, certain areas of the planet would be filled up with pure solar energy. Okay. So these are this is um these are instructions. This is doing uh this the so called when they were trying to create um winter time, early fall, and basically this was a symbol. Uh, this was um mathematical equations to for uh, for the sun to send out um blazing heat, which actually we do for it now. Um, for the sun to send out blazing heat. Now, when this comes out right here, this is an instantaneous request, and it happens right away. Okay, so we got the five point star, which is the tesseract, um, a spirit, earth, water, wind, fire. Okay, you got your six point star, which is uh, carbon. You got your symbol of infinity. This is what they call the swastika, a chakra. So we're talking about the sun chakra. So we actually, basically, basically, what we're doing is we're saying to raise the the uh, the infinite raising of the sun chakra, all right, to to um your five elements and to all those who are of carbon, infinite levels of fire energy, okay. So these are these are um nothing but symbols of energies, different energies. So here we go. So this is your this is our uh, Nibiru, all right, who's just outside of uh, of Ra. This is Nibiru, and we're telling Nibiru to flow freely, all right? So Nibiru increases his chakras for, to flow freely around the planet, all right? So basically, we gave Nibiru uh, a symbol that looks, looks almost like a number one, but this is a symbol of uh, of uh, total capacity, okay. So these are all symbols. These are all energies. That's that's in the the heat of the sun. All right. Now this is Nemesis. All right. This is Nemesis, which is our third sun. So sometimes we can see our third sun, which is given the infinite energy. All right. And we got Nemesis um, to activate its sun chakra. The South Third Sun ne Nemesis and the energy that it has to put out. So during this time here, we had the, the planet was getting really hot, and we had all three suns spitting energy. All right, this is the cosmos, your cosmic wavelengths right here. These are your cosmic wavelengths, and these are the energies. Okay, um, and again, uh, total capacity, uh, which means that the Nemesis can flow free, freely around the planet. And Nemesis can do as it please, but Ra has to stay in place. Ra is not allowed to flow freely. Alright? This is total capacity. It's a symbol of total capacity for both of them. Alright? So, you see the cosmic math now? Do you see that? That's the symbol of Pi. Pi is not 3.14 or whatever, whatever, whatever. Pi is a symbol of um, infinite, infinity infinite energy right pi is a symbol of infinite energy there's a beginning with no ending that's what pi means beginning with no ending all right so now if you look at here we got north south east west east west north south here and we if you notice here what's written down is the energies the energies increase, the frequencies and vibrations increase as it hits the planet. And we've got this in the symbol of fire. Okay? And what this is, this is a dragon's fire. And it's called the dragon's breath. 
and it engulfed the entire planet. Okay, so this, these are, uh, and they would say, you know, we uh, we'll put the symbol there of infinity for the infinite, for for infinite energy, always this infinite fire energy engulfing the planet. And if you notice, even when they try to make it cold, it's still hot because we made sure the planet remains hot all the time, right? So this were, so this is how we um, aligned everything. This is how we, this is how we communicated. This is how we communicate with the cosmos, with symbols that represents frequencies and vibrations, all right? So.